pleomorphic adenoma it is a benign tumor this term pleomorphic adenoma suggested by willis it has a mixed appearance so benign mixed tumor of salivary gland so synonyms of this condition iceberg tumor endothelioma branchioma enchondroma so it is a most common salivary gland tumor it is very important most common salivary gland tumor is pleomorphic adenoma the pathogenesis it has myoepithelial cells so the myoepithelial cells are responsible for morphological diversity of tumor including production of fibrous mucinous chondroid and osseous structures next one is differentiation of ductal reserve cells intercalated duct reserve cells can differentiate into ductal and myoepithelial cells and the later can then undergo mesenchymal metaplasia so since they inherently have smooth muscle like properties and the next one is neoplastic altered epithelial cells a neoplastically altered epithelial cell with potential for multi directional differentiation may be responsible for pleomorphic adenoma the next one is clinical features sex and age women to men ratio is 6 is to 4 so it is most commonly occur in the female intra oral lesion extra capsular incision and in a hot palate excised with overlying mucosa so lip soft palate so in lip and soft palate we have to do enucleation or extra capsular incision so intra oral lesion and lip and soft tissue we have to soft palate we have to do in enucleation or extra capsular incision and the recurrence is very important it uh, it has the low recurrence that is 5 to 30 percentage uh, recurrence rate why it is low recurrence rate because of it uh, it's a hypocellularity and incomplete resection and capsule uh, encapsulation most commonly affected salivary gland is parotid gland that is 90 percentage and intra oral palatal gland on lips so the most common location of the parotid gland that is lower pole of superficial lobe of the parotid gland and here the symptoms small and it is mostly asymptomatic that is painless and increase in size it produces dumbbell shaped appearance and that surface is smooth no fixation either to deeper tissue or overlying skin so no fixation either to deeper tissue or overlying skin and consistency is rubbery to feel so here the important point is it is painless and dumbbell shaped appearance and it is rubbery and it affects parotid gland 90 percentage and most common location of uh, parotid gland is lower pole of superficial lobe and it can be seen the symptoms can be seen also alteration of the skin profile and seventh cranial nerve neuralgia hearing impairment masticatory impairment swallowing disorders and paresis also affect uh, are also the symptoms of pleomorphic adenoma so the palatal tumor the palatal tumor it uh, present on the lateral aspect of the palate and uh, radiographic features erosion of the underlying bone in some cases and in the diagnosis clinical diagnosis smooth surface enlargement in the parotid region will suspect the pleomorphic adenoma in xylography ball in hand appearance it is very important and uh, ct diagnosis this will also help to know exact extension of the location and laboratory diagnosis we have to take biopsy and in biopsy cuboid cells arranged in tubes or duct like appearance so here the gene implicated in the condition is pla a g1 gene and chromosome is 8 12 so here the management and the very important point is the management the radiotherapy is contraindicated because it is radio resistant and the surgical excision parotid gland tumor is have to removed so parotid gland tumor and the involved lobe of the gland is uh, have to be removed and uh, submaxillary gland removal of the gland and uh, tumor in continuity and in this picture showing the pleomorphic adenoma that affects the parotid gland showing the smooth skin over the tumor so it is a mixed tumor and no gross uh, appearance if it in, uh, if it increases in size it produces facial disfigurement and this picture showing the pleomorphic adenoma that present on the palatal 
aspect. This picture showing the histopathological features of pleomorphic adenoma. It, uh, it presents of epithelial and mesenchymal cells. So in the left side there is epithelial and right side mesenchymal.